How does a nation find its way out of bondage? What does it take for a people to escape the clutches of oppression and embark on a journey toward freedom? Today, we delve into one of the most iconic stories in human history, the tale of Moses and the Exodus. But before we delve into the depths of this ancient narrative, let me share a personal reflection with you. Growing up, I often found solace in stories of resilience and triumph. There's something captivating about the human spirit's ability to overcome insurmountable odds, to rise above adversity, and to forge a path towards a brighter tomorrow. And in the biblical account of the Exodus, we find the epitome of such resilience, a story of a people's unwavering faith, their struggle against oppression, and their eventual liberation. So why should you stay tuned till the end of this video? Because within the pages of this ancient narrative lie timeless lessons, lessons of courage, perseverance, and above all, faith. Whether you're facing personal struggles or simply seeking inspiration, the story of Moses and the Exodus has something profound to offer each and every one of us. Israelites' Oppression In the annals of history, few tales evoke as much emotion and inspiration as that of the Israelites' oppression in the land of Egypt. Imagine, if you will, a nation enslaved, their cries for freedom echoing in the corridors of time. It is here, amidst the brick-laden streets of ancient Egypt, that our story begins. Generations had passed since Joseph's rise to power, and with his memory fading, the once favorable position of the Israelites had turned into one of despair. Pharaoh, fearing their growing numbers, issued a decree that sent shockwaves throughout the land, the order to kill Hebrew boys upon their birth. But amidst the darkness of oppression, a flicker of hope emerged. The birth of a child, destined for greatness, would set into motion a series of events that would change the course of history forever. Born to a Levite couple, this child was none other than Moses, whose very name would become synonymous with liberation. Yet, Moses' journey to leadership was far from conventional. Saved from certain death by Pharaoh's daughter, he was raised in the very household that sought to oppress his people. But destiny had other plans for Moses, and when confronted with the injustice suffered by his kin, he could not turn a blind eye. Fleeing into the wilderness after an altercation that cost the life of an Egyptian overseer, Moses embarked on a journey of self-discovery, a journey that would lead him to encounter the divine in the most unexpected of places. Moses' Calling in the solitude of the wilderness, amidst the rugged terrain of Mount Horeb, Moses encountered a sight that would forever alter the course of his life, a bush engulfed in flames, yet not consumed by the fire. It was here, in this sacred space, that the voice of the divine called out to him, beckoning him to a higher purpose. Imagine the awe and trepidation that must have filled Moses' heart as he approached the burning bush, uncertain of what he would encounter. And there, amidst the crackling flames, God revealed himself to Moses, commanding him to return to Egypt and lead his people, the Israelites, out of bondage. But Moses, like many of us when faced with the weight of destiny, hesitated. Who was he, a mere mortal, to challenge the might of Pharaoh and the power of Egypt? Yet, God's assurances were unwavering. He promised to be with Moses every step of the way, guiding him, protecting him, and empowering him to fulfill the task set before him. And so, armed with nothing but faith and a divine mandate, Moses embarked on the journey back to Egypt, a journey that would test his resolve, his courage, and his unwavering trust in the Almighty. But why should you stay till the end of this video? Because embedded within Moses' calling are lessons that transcend time and space, lessons of courage in the face of adversity, of faith in the midst of uncertainty, and of the profound truth that with God, all things are possible. Plagues and Passover Upon his return to Egypt, Moses confronted Pharaoh with a demand from the Almighty, let my people go. Yet, Pharaoh's heart remained hardened, and he refused to heed God's command. And so began a series of divine interventions known as the Ten Plagues, a testament to the power of God and his determination to secure the freedom of his people. From the waters of the Nile turning to blood to the darkness that engulfed the land, each plague served as a demonstration of God's sovereignty over creation and his unwavering commitment to deliverance. Yet, it was the final plague, the death of the firstborn, that would ultimately compel Pharaoh to release the Israelites from bondage. But liberation came at a cost, a cost paid in the blood of the Passover lamb. As instructed by God, the Israelites marked their doorposts with the blood of the lamb, a sign of their faith and obedience. And on that fateful night, as the angel of death passed over the land, those marked by the blood were spared from its grasp. And so, with trembling hearts and a sense of urgency, the Israelites prepared for their journey to freedom, a journey that would take them through the depths of the wilderness and into the unknown. But why should you continue watching? Because within the story of the plagues and the Passover lies a profound truth, 
that even in the darkest of times, God remains faithful to his promises, and his deliverance is always at hand. Exodus and Wilderness Journey With the dawn of a new day came the exodus of the Israelites from the land of Egypt. Led by Moses, they journeyed forth into the vast wilderness, a journey fraught with uncertainty yet guided by the hand of God. As they traversed the barren landscapes, God's presence manifested itself in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, a constant reminder of his watchful care and guidance. And when they reached the shores of the Red Sea, with Pharaoh's army hot on their heels, God performed a miracle beyond imagination. He parted the waters, allowing the Israelites to cross on dry land, while simultaneously drowning their pursuers in the depths below. But the journey did not end there. For forty years, the Israelites wandered through the wilderness, a time of testing, refining, and preparation for the journey ahead. And though their faith was tested time and again, God remained faithful, providing for their every need and leading them ever closer to the promised land. So why should you stay tuned to this narrative? Because within the Exodus and wilderness journey lies a profound lesson, that even in the midst of life's trials and tribulations, God is ever-present, guiding us, sustaining us, and leading us toward our ultimate destination. Covenant and Commandments Upon reaching Mount Sinai, the Israelites received a divine revelation that would shape the course of their journey, a revelation of God's holy law. Amidst thunder and lightning, Moses ascended the mountain to commune with the Almighty, receiving the sacred tablets inscribed with the Ten Commandments. These commandments, given as a gift from God, served as the foundation of a covenant between him and his people, a covenant based on mutual love, obedience, and devotion. Yet, even as Moses communed with God on the mountaintop, the Israelites below succumbed to fear and doubt, fashioning a golden calf to worship in his absence. But amidst their transgression, Moses interceded on behalf of the people, pleading for God's mercy and forgiveness. And in his boundless compassion, God renewed his covenant with Israel, reaffirming his promise to guide, protect, and dwell among them. And so, with the covenant renewed and the commandments in hand, the Israelites set about constructing a sanctuary for the worship of God, the tabernacle, a tangible symbol of his presence in their midst. But why should you continue to delve into this ancient narrative? Because within the covenant and commandments lies a timeless truth, that God's love and mercy are boundless, his faithfulness unwavering, and his desire for relationship with his people enduring through the ages. Spies and Wandering As the Israelites journeyed ever closer to the promised land, Moses dispatched twelve spies to scout the land of Canaan and report back on its inhabitants and resources. However, upon their return, the spies delivered a mixed report, some spoke of the land's abundance and promise, while others focused on its fortified cities and formidable inhabitants. Tragically, the majority of the spies succumbed to fear and doubt, spreading a negative report among the people and inciting rebellion against God's promise. In their lack of faith, they doubted God's ability to fulfill his word and deliver them into the land he had promised. In response to their disobedience, God decreed that the generation that had witnessed his miraculous deliverance from Egypt would wander in the wilderness for forty years, a time of testing and refining, during which their faith would be tried and their hearts purified. And yet, even in the midst of their wandering, God remained faithful, providing for their every need and guiding them with his pillar of cloud by day and fire by night. And when the time came to pass the mantle of leadership to a new generation, Moses delivered his final speech, appointing Joshua as his successor and charging him to lead the people into the promised land. But why should you stay engaged with this narrative? Because within the story of the spies and the wilderness wandering lies a profound lesson, that faithfulness to God's promises brings blessing, while disobedience leads to wandering and delay. Challenges and Triumphs as the Israelites continued their journey through the wilderness, they encountered numerous challenges and triumphs that tested their faith and resolve. From battles with hostile nations to internal strife and rebellion, the Israelites faced countless obstacles on their path to the Promised Land. Yet, through it all, God remained faithful, providing for their every need and guiding them with His wisdom and strength. One of the most notable challenges came when the Israelites, weary from their journey, began to grumble and complain against Moses and God. In response, God sent a plague of fiery serpents among the people as a punishment for their disobedience. But even in their suffering, God provided a way of redemption, Moses was instructed to fashion a bronze serpent and set it upon a pole. Those who looked upon the serpent would be healed and spared from death. This story serves as a powerful reminder of God's mercy and grace, even in the midst of judgment. It speaks to the reality that, no matter how far we may stray from His path, 
God is always ready to forgive and restore us when we turn to Him in repentance. But the wilderness journey was not without its moments of triumph. From the miraculous provision of manna and quail to the revelation of God's glory on Mount Sinai, the Israelites witnessed firsthand the power and majesty of their Creator. And as they prepared to cross the Jordan River into the Promised Land, they did so with a renewed sense of purpose and determination, knowing that God was with them every step of the way. So why should you continue to follow this epic narrative? Because within the challenges and triumphs of the Israelites lies a timeless message of hope, redemption, and the unwavering faithfulness of God. Final Days and Legacy As the Israelites stood on the banks of the Jordan River, poised to enter the Promised Land, Moses knew that his journey was drawing to a close. Though he had led the people with unwavering faith and dedication for forty years, he would not be the one to lead them across the river into their inheritance. Instead, Moses looked out over the land that God had promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, a land flowing with milk and honey, and he imparted his final words of wisdom and blessing to the people. With a heart full of gratitude and love for his chosen people, Moses recounted their journey from slavery to freedom, from bondage to promise. He reminded them of God's faithfulness and provision, urging them to remain steadfast in their commitment to follow him with all their hearts and souls. And then, with a sense of peace and fulfillment, Moses ascended Mount Nebo, where he beheld the promised land in all its splendor. And there, in the presence of God, he breathed his last breath, passing the mantle of leadership to Joshua, the son of Nun. But though Moses' physical journey had come to an end, his legacy lived on in the hearts and minds of the Israelites. For he had been more than just a leader, he had been a prophet, a mediator, and a friend of God. And as the Israelites crossed the Jordan River and began to possess the land that God had given them, they did so with the memory of Moses ever before them, a reminder of God's faithfulness and the power of obedience. So why should you continue to explore this ancient narrative? Because within the final days and legacy of Moses lies a timeless lesson, that faithfulness to God's call leaves a legacy that transcends generations, inspiring others to follow in the path of righteousness and obedience. Conclusion And so, dear viewer, we come to the close of our journey through the biblical story of Moses and the Exodus. From the oppression of the Israelites in Egypt to their triumphant entry into the Promised Land, we have witnessed the hand of God at work, guiding, protecting, and delivering His people. Throughout this epic narrative, we have seen the power of faith, the consequences of disobedience, and the enduring faithfulness of God. We have witnessed miracles and wonders, battles and triumphs, and through it all, we have been reminded of the central truth, that God is sovereign, and His purposes will prevail. As we reflect on the life of Moses and the legacy he left behind, may we be inspired to follow in his footsteps, to trust in God's promises, obey His commands, and walk in faithfulness all the days of our lives. And so, as we bid farewell to Moses and the Israelites, let us carry with us the lessons learned from their journey, a journey marked by faith, perseverance, and the unwavering love of God. Thank you for joining us on this epic adventure. May you be blessed as you continue to seek after the heart of God and walk in His ways.